episode gave me a damn headache. I'm tired. It was a lot. A whole lot, a whole lot. What's going on everybody? It's your favorite, favorite auntie. We are back again for another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is season eight, episode 55, Emma and Jay. Um, before we get into the view, review, first and foremost, let me apologize. You're going to hear, I live in an old ass house, y'all already know. You want to hear the water? You hear the water running? Yeah, my son is in the shower washing his ass. I apologize. You're going to hear a little bit of water running. That's okay. That's okay. Before we get into this review, y'all already know how my church announcements go. They ain't changed. If you want to subscribe to my channel, why? Why? You always know I'm coming with that good, good. What you waiting on? That's your fault. That's your bad. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel if you are not just yet. Make sure you have your notification bells turned on and all that good stuff so you don't miss nothing, okay? Also, let me know you stopped by. Go ahead and hit that bell, okay? I mean, not the bell. Yeah, make sure the bell is on so you already know when I got that hot fire. But go ahead and hit that thumbs up on your way in or out. And leave me a little comment down below, okay? Um, This episode of Catfish, y'all, Lord, let me fix my lash. This episode of Catfish got me irritated i was confused it was a whole lot of whole lot of that went on y'all i'm tired i'm tired aside from work that's why i just have to wear roses today rosa parks nah you know when i wear rosa i'm tired y'all i'm tired already from work and then this it was just a whole lot a whole lot of going on a whole lot to figure out i'm tired I need me something to drink. And then, child, it's been all kind of D-pics and stuff all over the internet. I need a cigarette. I need some water because, bitch, the thirst has been real. I've been all up in them dick pics, y'all. That ain't got nothing to do with this. Girl, that ain't got nothing to do with this. But it was some fabulous dick pics that I seen, child. I'm sorry. It was some nice ones. But look here, though. This is why we talking. This, you know what? This was this got to do with this, okay? All these naked pictures been floating around on the internet and stuff like that. Cha, method man, you got twenty four hours to respond. But look here. Hopefully, y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get up into it. Hey right, guys, we have Emma. She's twenty four from New Jersey. She has been talking to EJ for the last six months, okay? Now, the shit with them already been real kind of super, super complicated. Like I said, this is a complicated episode. You're going to be seeing me doing my notes or reading my notes because I have to do a whole lot of notes because it was just a whole lot that went on. Okay, look, they met on social media. He plays college football, supposedly, right? Now, she recently underwent a total body transformation. Mama done lost 100 pounds. She feeling herself, feeling good. So after her losing 100 pounds, her meeting EJ was like a big deal for her, right? Big deal for her ego booster or whatnot, right? Now, she actually, no, I think he started following her. She seen that he was following her. She was like, ew, he kind of cute. So she went and slid up into his DMs and then immediately they exchanged phone numbers and they started talking from there. Now, the thing about it with him, he always texted her from different numbers, it's a sketch. It's just a lot. Just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Okay, so now after they exchanged phone numbers, like I said, you know, they would text each other. They never talked on the phone. Every time they were supposed to talk on the phone or they were supposed to FaceTime, EJ would just so happily, conveniently call her when he noticed she sleep. That's like you saying, okay, you know, I'm going to call you about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday, but you know I'm asleep. You know I ain't fit that I answer the phone. That's the kind of stuff that he would be doing just because he was on some real sketchy shit or whatever, right? Either way it go, they still ain't talked on the phone. Only been talking through text messages other than the times when she didn't have to delete and block him and they hadn't talked to, and they had to talk through different social medias. I'm finna get to that child. Like I said, this shit was real a whole lot of, right? Now, he was actually supposed to come and see her. Even said, like, was sending her text messages from him supposedly being on the flight, got all the way to her house, Bitch was up the street. She's sitting up there waiting and waiting and waiting. The nigga don't never show up. A week later, he sends her a text message. It was like, oh, my bad. My homeboy. That's the water, y'all. Hold on. 
Now, a week later, he hits her back saying that he wasn't actually talking to her this whole time, that his friend Kyle actually had his phone and was communicating with her the whole time. She wasn't even actually talking to EJ. It was just real weird, right? And like Neve was even saying, how your homeboy gonna have your phone for a whole week and you don't get it back? Down may no damn sense. Like, make it make sense. Now, he ends up sending Emma this long message, a screenshot of this long-ass message from Kyle that he actually sent to EJ. Basically, thank God. That he actually sent to EJ, basically saying, like, look here, I may have messed up something with you and your girl Emma. I told her that I was going to New Jersey to see her. I was pretending to be you, but you know what I'm saying? My bad. I didn't mean to mess up nothing that you had going on. Now, when she seen the screenshot that EJ sent her, she kind of believed it. But then again, at the same time, she was real kind of sketchy about it, right? So what she does is end up doing a reverse search on EJ's phone number. The phone number ends up coming back registered to some chick named Tiana. She asks EJ who the hell Tiana is. He says that Tiana is actually his fiance. So she like, nigga, your fiance? Nick, what? Then EJ tells her to look up this dude named Jake. She gives her, you know, the first and last name, tells her that this is actually the guy, Jake, that you were talking to. Just so happens me, Jake, and my other homeboy, Kyle, we basically all have this one IG, oh my bad, we all have this one IG page that we use and they're cheating on their girlfriends. That's the IG page that they use to cheat on their girlfriends with, right? Then he sends her a picture of the real him, who it really is. She gets the picture two days later. This same dude ends up popping up on her TikTok timeline. So she sends a message back to EJ and like, nigga, this ain't you neither. This nigga is on the TikTok. So who the hell is you? So she ends up was like, you know what? I don't believe shit you got to say because everything you say is a damn lie. She ends up blocking his ass, right? And later on, Emma is scheduled to get her skin removal surgery, right? Before she has the surgery, EJ actually sends her a video and says, this is a video from Jake. You know, he wants to apologize and whatnot. And he wants to send you this video, just wishing you well, right? So Neve and Cammie is like, well, let me look at the video that you have. It's an actual video of the real Jake. And it's like, hey, Emma, good luck on your surgery today. I hope everything goes well. I'll be thinking about you. You know, um, hope all works well with you. Bloop, de bloop, de bloop, de bloop, de bloop. Off the rip. Kimmy is like, bitch, that's a cameo video. <laughs> that's a barbecue card. Like, that ain't even a real, that's a cameo video. You want to know how I know? Because I do cameo videos. Me and Neve do cameo videos. If y'all know what cameo videos are, they just basically, it's like an app where you can go on there and send messages to celebrities and what you want them to say in a video and they will say that in a video. Basically, like it's some personalized shit, but you really paying for this shit or something like that, right? So it was a cameo. Cammy's like, Cammy, Cammy. <laughs> Cammy. Cameo, I know what this shit is. That's why I say Cammy brings a really good element to the show. She picks up on a lot of shit that Neve doesn't necessarily pick up on just because it brings a whole little woman's intuition. And the fact that she blank, I like that. But Cammy's like, no, that's not a real video. That's a cameo video that he sent you of the dude, Jake. But they ain't him, though. And of course, Emma doesn't know what the hell a Cameo video is. So they end up going and looking uh, for Jake on Cameo, sees that he only has one video on there, and it's the one video that he sent to Emma. And in return, the person that reviewed it was Emma. Scratch that. It was EJ's ass. EJ ass. This nigga on some old crazy single white female shit. Single black female, okay? He went and did a fake page like he was Emma. Sent a message to the real Jake. Can you say this to me? Because I'm getting ready to get this surgery. Has the dude make a video, send it to him. And he sends it to Emma. Making it seem like it was really from Jake. Bitch. The catfish is real. Now, at this point, he's reaching out to her through um, IG, Keek, Facebook, anything that he can because he cannot get in contact with her any other way because she has his ass blocked, right? Now, she's been trying to play it cool with him because she does also have nude photos that she sent 
to him and this nigga already did some crazy shit. Let me tell you what else this dude did, right? Oh, but before that, whenever she would get mad at EJ, he would send her biblical quotes and be like, I don't know why you judging me. God loves all creatures and you should love everybody for who they are, what they are, no matter what the hell is going on and God ain't gonna love you. God gonna strike you down. Just sending her some old, like, not saying nothing wrong because, you know, God knows I love him, but he was just trying to use the Bible against her. So just on some real weird shit, right? But check this out. This gets even weirder. So her friend Tyler sends her a message, right? Well, her friend Tyler ends up getting in contact with her. This dude, EJ, sends a message to her friend Tyler. How he found out that they was friends. They didn't actually say that. I don't know if he found on social media that she had a friend named Tyler. I don't know how he found out. But EJ sends a message to Tyler and was like, hey, have you heard from Emma? I heard she's dead. Tyler like, nigga, what? Who is you and what is you talking about? Emma dead? My, my nigga Emma? How you know her? This fool EJ sends nude photos of Emma to Tyler and was like, yeah, I know her. I know her real well or what not. Tyler was like, well, I don't know about nothing about her being dead, but uh, the fuck? After that, she real pissed off. She let some time go by. She blacking this dude, ghosting this dude, don't want nothing to do with this dude, right? She ends up talking back to a dude that she used to talk to before in the past. As they trying to get together, make shit work, this nigga EJ makes a catfish profile and catfishes the dude that she's talking to currently just to distract him from actually talking to Emma. Single black female. Well, in this instance, single white female. Just on some crazy shit. So y'all, it's time to investigate. Ain't no need of looking for the real Jake because they already know the real Jake is a real Jake. He didn't know how to confirm that for him, right? So they end up looking up the phone number. And of course, the phone number comes back registered to Tiana. They look up the name of the phone number in Cash App. And again, the name Tiana comes up associated with that phone number. So they put in 246 and 8 together. And they're like, okay, Tiana is the same phone number that's registered. Tiana is the same as the Cash App that's registered, right? They end up searching on social media for Tiana. And there's three different profiles that come back as Tiana. But all of them are basically they're inactive, right? So they end up searching um, IG. They find one page for Tiana and it only has one photo on there, but it does have some biblical verses on there and it has something that's associated with like basketball because again, this Emma person is supposed to be an athlete. Basketball, football, I don't know, some shit with some balls is what she's supposed to be doing. So when they found this, you know, this one random page, they're like, okay, well, maybe this is her because it was only one photo on there. But again, none of it is active, right? So they end up sending messages to um, the fake Jake, the one that they know is fake, as well as to the fake Kyle, right? Now, in the meantime, they also hit up Emma's homeboy, Tyler, and they um, hop on a Zoom with him. Tyler does confirm everything that Emma says about what he did, um, what EJ did about saying that Emma was dead and sending the nude photos, the whoop-de-whoop, -whoop, yada, 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 right? And um, what's his name? Tyler also confirms and tells them that EJ had also made a fake IG profile as Emma and was selling his butt-naked pictures as Emma to niggas on the internet. I think you can go to jail for that. That's crazy. I would find you and I'd beat your ass. So y'all, they end up getting back to Emma with all the tea and of course she's upset, okay? She didn't initially tell Neve and Cammy about him selling the news of her because she was embarrassed by it, right? Which of course I would be too, nigga, look. I don't care if I send you a titty pic, a picture of this monkey, or a picture of this fat ass. That's for you. That ain't for you to be going and spreading to the internet or doing whatnot. If we fall out of any of that, I'm going to find you and I'm going to whoop your ass on God. Now, Emma does say that EJ actually hit her up randomly out of the blue and was like, look here, I'm in a bit of a bind. I made a fake IG page as you and I went on there selling um, naked photos of you and I'm in a situation now. Blah. Basically could have got her ass caught up in some BS because you want some old single white female shit out here stealing her new photo. Well, not even stealing them because she sent them to him, but still, she sent you them photos in confidence and you out here making fake profiles and shit could have really got her caught 
caught up in some old crazy stalker shit, right? Now, it's a new day. It's the next day because they still waiting to hear back from the fake ass Jake and that Kyle, right? Now, Emma says she gets a text me no, a message on her DM from, um, um, on Keek from EJ saying that, um, can you please give me your new number? It's an emergency. I have to talk to you about something. She responds back to him like, Nick, fuck you. I ain't finna give you my damn number. The, the fuck you crazy? Cammy has an idea. How about we send him our phone number, the catfish phone. He gonna think it's your number and we can text him pretending like we you. We gonna catfish this bitch since he wants to be out here catfishing bitches. Well, we already know all about that, right? So they end up sending him a text message from the phone, or no, she sends him a message back on Keek. It's like, okay, here, here's my new number. Just then, Neva Cammy end up getting a text message on a catfish phone from uh, an Elena Ferreira. And when they read that name to Emma, Emma's like, yeah, Elena is the name of the fiance, supposedly, that he had had. Again, some old crazy <laughs> single white female shit. So at first, when Emma tries, or well, Cammy and Neve pretend to be Emma trying to get him on the Zoom, he's like, now it's not a good time. I can't do a blah, blah, blah. You already know them damn excuses that they come up with. So basically, they respond back. It was like, nigga, it's either now or never, or you can kiss my grits, you can kiss my ass. And just like that, he's like, okay, fine. I'll go ahead and hop on Zoom. Child, they send him the Zoom link. And as soon as EJ popped up on the Zoom, I was like, Now, as soon as EJ hops his ass on his Zoom, he starts lying from the jizzle. Lying about everything, saying that um, he didn't know who um, the Elena was. He didn't know where all was this fool saying, because he was just lying. It was just getting on my nerves. First, he said that um, she was talking to Jake. Then he said she wasn't talking to Jake. Then he says that... Um, Jake and Kyle used to use the IG to cheat on their girlfriends, but then he didn't want Jake to talk to her. I mean, it was just a whole bunch. A whole bunch of them was just irritate me and it was getting on my damn nerve. And I was finally glad when Neve was like, look, nigga, you have to keep it real. Because you all up on here, you lying. We know you lying. You know you lying. And we know that you know that you know that we know that you know that you lying. We not fit to sit up here and do this old bullshit. So if you're going to get up here, you're going to tell us the truth, try to give you a, a chance to redeem yourself. Oh, you can kick rocks with open toe shoes and we can just say the hell with this. And she going to leave you the hell alone too. So finally, EJ is like, all right, cool. Bet I'm going to come cool. I'm going to come clean. Ask what you want me to ask me. He does finally admit to being all the profiles. He's the fake-ass Emma, you know, selling the new photos. He is also the Jake profile. He is the Kyle profile. And he is the Elena profile. The Elena was the supposed the fiancé as well as the girl who catfished the dude that Emma was currently talking to. EJ was all of that, right? So, Kimmy and Eve is like, okay, so... Who the hell is Tiana? Because everything we got is coming back registered to Tiana. EJ says, that's my dead name. I knew that off the rip. Soon as EJ hopped up on camera, I was like, Neve and Cammy did not know. Soon as he said that was his dead name, Neve and Cammy, they had to put the thing on me. It was like, oh, shit. He's trans. Did you know that? And came in like, no, I didn't. Came in normally. You be on the shit. I noticed it off the rip. At first, I thought that that was just a disguise that he was doing to try to mask, like, oh, I don't want this person to see, you know, really know who I am. But once he said that that was his dead name, that's who he really is. So Tiana won't be used no more from here on out, right? Now, EJ says that he deals with a lot of ban an abandonment issues as well as he has a lot of anger issues. When somebody, basically when he feels like somebody is abandoning him, leaving him, he gets angry. He don't know what to do with them emotions and he uses that basically to retaliate against them, which ain't safe. It ain't healthy at all because one of these days, somebody gonna beat your ass. Although they do sympathize with EJ, like, look here, I get it. You know, you, you have a lot of abandonment issues that you deal with. You have anger issues that you deal with. You got a lot going on with you. You know, I, I couldn't imagine what it is to be a trans human being where your brain and your body don't match. I could 
imagine that is like a hell that you're going through and for you to have to go through that and you're you you're catfishing people in the process i sympathize for you but bitch that don't mean i'm gonna just calm down and just like forget anything that you damn did because everything that ej did was wrong as hell like i said if i see you picture this monkey that picture's for you i don't give a damn if you get mad if we fall out you have no right whatsoever to then flip that and go and try to sell that on the internet or put that on the internet or just to put that out there to put somebody on blast like that. That's foul as hell. That's wrong as hell. I was looking at my baby, oh, um, my baby brother review earlier and I think he said something like, um, Cammy said that they tried to go to the police or something. I don't know because that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, okay, so now that we know everything is on, is up and up, bitch, it's finna be up and stuck. I'm finna go to the popos on your ass and I'm finna take your ass to motherfucking jail. Cause bitch, that ain't right. I sent this monkey to you, not to the intranet, okay? They can have the, the little fizz, little teeny fizzle pop in the Nelly dick pics, but this monkey was for you. You understand? But I don't know what happened with that whole situation. If y'all know, drop down the comments and let me know. But again, I do appreciate Cammy coming and giving some good big sister advice because you know that's what Cammy is good for. She let him know, like, look here, it's a lot that you got going on with you, but you got to first learn how to love yourself before you can love anybody else. And once you love yourself, people are going to love you for exactly who the fuck you are. You don't have to be out here catfishing nobody. Now, from an auntie point of view, because you know how I'm going to pop my shit motherfucker you need your ass whooped for that i'm sorry that was wrong you just need somebody to spit in their hand to smack you across your damn face what would you do if somebody put your monkey your butt naked your peen pictures out there for somebody to see would that make you feel good would you be pissed off about that hell yeah you would because that was something that you sent to somebody in private for them you can't then get mad and decide, I'm going to use this against them because they got me fucked up. I'm mad. No. Get over that crazy. When your eye gets to twitching, go on, sit down and go talk to somebody, okay? Get out this crazy shit. Because once you get past that crazy shit, because it's crazy. Let's just call it, <laughs> we don't call it motherfucking ace and ace, okay? It's crazy. Everything that you did with that was crazy. And you didn't need to do that shit because that shit was crazy. But what I am going to need you to do is go talk to somebody. Because what you did could really have a long lasting, emotionally, mentally damaging effect to Emma. Because ain't no telling who got pictures of her monkey now. I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. He does apologize. It said, I accept your apology, but right now I just can't even do you because you done did me dirty. Bitch, it's up and it's stuck. Now, she didn't say it's up and it's stuck. I'm saying it's up and stuck. But she was just like, you know, I do appreciate you for having the balls to even come forth and, you know, say who you are and, you know, say what it is. But again, at the same time, I don't fuck with you like that. So it came and did they little, you know, two months follow up or whatnot, you know. Um, EJ trying to get his shit together. Emma says she's single. Fuck these niggas. She don't trust these niggas. She ain't worried about these niggas, okay? She's just trying to do her, live her best life, you know, lose her some more weight and get out there. Bitch, have you a hot girl summer? Scrub the ground. Don't worry about these goddamn men's assists right now. I'm just saying, look here, if it was anything that I missed in this review, y'all already know what to do. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your auntie mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all. Thank you.